Wow, I feel like we should talk about the types of patients that you see because I didn't even <laughs> really think about like moms. Though I mean, being in an island situation, yeah, you probably just transport There's... anybody that needs to be going to like a higher level of of care. Yeah. There is like... nowhere to deliver. I mean, unless you're doing like a home birth um, attended by whoever you bring over from the mainland, uh, there's nowhere to deliver a baby in our islands, like in a facility. And the little tiny hospital wants nothing to do with them. They're like, nope, please go to the mainland. Hello. Hi, please come get them. <laughs> nope, um, not here. Move yeah. On. <laughs> um, yeah. So we, we are accredited to transport um, pr- essentially anything except for neonatal. So from um, anywhere from like birth to 28 days, um, we would not transport and anything under, um, 10 pounds, we do not have the, um, um, appropriate and safe equipment to safely transport them. Um, sure. so we recently had a laboring mom on the Island. Um, she had her baby, um, safely and successfully on the Island labor had progressed too quickly, um, for us to safely transport. And so, um, once, baby was born, of course, that child is, that's, you know, you're technically a neonate and we cannot transport that. So Mm. at that time, our, um, one of the other, uh, air asset providers, um, coordinates with the children's hospital in Seattle. And so they actually had, Mm. they have the capability to have like a NICU nurse hop onto the helicopter and come out with the isolate. Oh, that's so freaking cool. How cool would it be to be that ICU nurse? Like, hey, (laughs) got to pick up my patient. (laughs) Yep. Yep. I know they're, um, it's, we're very fortunate, I think in this state to have a fair amount of coverage for all of those different types of, um, uh, medical needs, different situations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we took mama, they took baby, um, and ultimately we received some follow up and everything's great. Everything's fine. Oh, that's awesome. Do you get, do you get follow-up sometimes like about how your patients are doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, um, our, um, MPD works, um, within like one of the major health organizations. Um, he works both at our little Island Mm. hospital and then at a hospital within the same company on the mainland. Um, and that's where a lot of our transports go to is Mm -hmm. within that health system. So he has access and he's able to get us follow-up, um, and then we, unless the person's like a John Doe and we have no information, part of like our um, information gathering is their phone number. Um, and so he mm-hmm. will call every single patient um, and just say, hey, um, how are you doing? Thank you so much for, you know, trusting us with your care and your transport. Um, is there anything that we could have done better? You know, and how are you? Oh, um, that's cool. Yeah. And so we, and then we also send out letters um, and we get feedback sometimes as well. Awesome. Yeah. You guys have to be so busy. I mean, just being like, you know, as I'm still grappling with the fact that like, yeah, you, there's no other transport other than the ferry, like where are you coming from? <laughs> how many, and how, so how many trips would you normally do back and forth, like in a 12 hour, 12 hour shift or 48 hour shift, I guess. Um, honestly, it really varies. Um, we are definitely a, um, tourist destination. Uh, so yeah. in the summer times we get super busy. Um, and I have done five transports in like a 24 hour period and then I've done none. Um, mm. and so it really just depends. Um, all three air providers offer memberships, um, and market in different ways. And, um, so sometimes it's honestly just, uh, it may be like luck of the draw, whatever that ground medic, thinks is best, you know, Oh, Mm. like let's call the helicopter because they might need to go to a trauma center where they can like land on the helipad on the hell on the hospital. Sure. Um, versus we land at an airport and then get transported in, or maybe they're a member with this company or, Oh, they're a member with that company. So let's call them. Um, Mm. sometimes it just, it, so it depends on like insurance when you say members, like insurance based, um, you do have to have insurance to be a member, but we will fly anybody. You don't have to have, you don't even have to have insurance or be a member to fly with us. Um, I see. it just kind of helps on the back end of billing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you are a member, I believe it's the way that it works with all three providers that if you're a member with them and there's some extra part of the bill that like your insurance won't cover, 
Mm-hmm. Your membership with that company like covers it and waives any extra fees. Gotcha. And being a member, like member mm-hmm. is interchangeably used with like patient, right? Yeah. Like it's yes. essentially, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. And most people on the islands, um, you know, if they're a local, they grow up knowing that healthcare is kind of limited. And so um, all three uh, companies offer like household memberships and they're decently affordable. I'm pretty sure our yearly membership for your whole household is like $39. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's... And then like one of one of our competitors, I think theirs is like either 70 or $80 for the year for the whole household. That's... 